wonderful greetings to you, my friend. I hope you're doing well. My prayer to the Lord is to sustain you and to sustain me during this time. How are you doing? I know, of course, things have not been easy uh, in our country, the world over. But let me encourage you that the Lord will watch over you and encourage you. But you know what, my friend? The Lord is faithful. You see us through this journey. Be encouraged and stand for him. I'm Stanley Ngadia, a pastor with the Christ Christians of Ministries here in Nairobi, Kenya, based at Sitam Dika Town. And it's my greatest joy to share with you the living word of God. I want to share with you on a lovely topic I call testing of your faith. Testing of your faith. And I want to share with you from the word of God in Matthew 14 from verse 22. Matthew 14 uh, from verse 22. The Bible says, Immediately Jesus made the disciples to get into the boat and to go ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone, and the boat was already a considerable distance from the land, baffled by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were afraid. It's a ghost, they said. And they cried out of fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it is you, Peter replied, Tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came to an Jesus. But when he saw the weed, he was afraid and began to sing, to sink, crying out to the Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You have lived your faith, he said. Why did you doubt? Testing of your faith. Jesus has just had fed 5,000 people. And so he told the crowd, now you are fed, you are full, now you may go your way. And he told the disciples, get into your boat, let's get on the other side. Uh, during that time, this was some of the forms of transport. So they got into a boat and they were crossing the lake. But something happened. You know, there was quite a lot of storms in the sea. And Jesus actually understood his journey also, but he was walking on the water. But something happened. You know, there was a lot of storm. And Peter, who was among the people in the boat, said, when he saw Jesus, he said, Jesus, please, can I join you? We walk together in the water. And Jesus said, yes, come. And I like this man. I think one of the things that happened with Peter is because he had seen the miracles before. And Jesus already multiplied the fish and the bread and they were able to feed 5,000 people. So I think that faith, you know, got into Peter. But he tried now to balance between the two, faith and the fear. As he was going to one Jesus, of course, the Bible says that he saw the storms and I think he forgot himself. And so he started actually sinking. But thank God because the Lord is the Lord of storms. He is our God. He is the creator of the people and also the storms. So for Peter was in that kind of a scenario. You know, there are quite a lot of storms. The disciples in the boat also were crying. The Peter also was sinking, you know. But thank God because Jesus challenged them. He said, where is your faith? So what kind of a storm are you in at the moment? Maybe for you it is not a storm in the sea. Could be a storm of sickness. 
it could even be a storm of what we are going through at the moment, as a country, as a nation, as a world. It could be a storm of luck, you know. Closing our schools is actually a storm. Going down our economy is actually a storm. But you will be tested. And I pray that you will come out even of your storms, you know, strong. Because definitely our faith will be tested. My prayer is that when you come out of it, we'll be stronger than before. Um, Bishop Oginde, who is the presiding bishop of Christ the Sense of Ministry, said, when faith comes in, fear goes out. And when fear comes in, faith goes out. But the good news is, Jesus is the Jesus of the storm. He understands the waters because he's the creator. He is sovereign. And so you will be tested, but my prayer is that you would be knocked down by the testing. God will test your faith. He will test your character, whether you remain in him. In fact, the point is sometimes I guess the guys in the boat wanted to run away or to get out of the boat. That's why I'm talking about trusting the Lord that your faith in him will start. A few lessons we can pick out of this text today. The first one is storms in life, they're inevitable. They will come, whether you are Christian or whether you're not, whether you're young or whether you are old. Storms will come. And so get ready for that. Somebody, in fact, saying that if you're not right now in a storm, you've just come out of one. And if not that, maybe you're getting into one. I'm not a prophet of doom, but is a reality of life. Storms are there. But then number two, then we are called to build our faith in God. Always in the Bible, Jesus would use the word faith several times. He would say, by faith, rise up and go. By your faith, you will be made whole. So I pray that we build our faith in the Lord to stand in Him, despite the suffering, persecutions, hardships, trouble, sickness, whatever it is, may we build our muscles as the servants of God. But then number three is that is the good news that God is the God of storms. He understands the waters. He understands the depth of the waters. That's why he says, we go up to the mountain, we go up to the valleys, our help comes from him. That is Psalm 121. And so be encouraged even when you are tested. By the way, the testing of your faith will develop a great character in you. So don't mourn because we're not testing at the moment. Don't cry because we're not a storm at the moment. Because by going through that storm, you will come out refined. God encourage you. May the Lord encourage me as we go through storms of life. But the beauty is our God is then God of storms. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you because we are God of storms. Even when our faith is tested, we pray we will come out strong. I pray for my listener. I pray for myself. All things we are going through at the moment, Lord. There are those who are suffering at the moment because of sicknesses. Others because businesses have get low. And so we have no peace of bread at home. Whatever storms are, Father, I pray that you rescue your people because you are our creator. You are our shepherd. We won't be in want, our fathers, David said in Psalm 23. And so we give you praise and we give you honor. For this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you.